The keyboard app is an essential app in your smartphone that gets used a lot. If you're like me, you would like to know all the tips there is to know about on how to use the keyboard. When I use my Samsung smartphone, be it the latest S21 Ultra or the Galaxy Z Fold 2, I use the Samsung keyboard as my default keyboard app. Samsung keyboard's awesome features makes it a great keyboard app to use. There are some basic features like the keyboard swipes, cursor control to move between text using a virtual touchpad, but those aside, we're gonna see some of the advanced features and tips using which you can master your Samsung keyboard as well. As you start using your keyboard, you're gonna find there is a bar above the keyboard with some very useful shortcuts. That's called the keyboard toolbar. Here in my keyboard, you can see that I have the toolbar with some very useful shortcuts like the emoji button, the sticker button that allows me to browse through all of the AR emojis, the GIF button that allows me to browse all of the GIFs and a voice button to transcribe my voice to text, the keyboard modes, handwriting recognition tool, the settings button and more, right? And this toolbar is quick access to some of the settings you might want to use regularly with your keyboard. And one of those options is emojis, right? We want to express ourselves with some emojis and I want to get access to those emojis very quickly in all of my apps. And that's exactly what this emoji button does. And you can see at the bottom, you have the category that you can scroll through. And you also see there's a search button. So I don't have to worry about which emoji to map with my feelings. I can tap on search and type happy. And you can see that I get all of the emojis associated with the word happy. And that's how you can access the emojis button very quickly with the keyboard toolbar. Now, going further, you would like to customize some of the options you see here with the other options available for the shortcuts. If you tap the more options button at the end of the toolbar, which is this three dotted button, you get more options. You see that you have some options for search, Spotify, YouTube, even accessing your clipboard and even more. So what you see in the shortcuts are these options that are available to you and you can easily access them without going to the more options menu and by placing them in the keyboard toolbar. So for example, if I want to get the search button, all I have to do is hold the search button for a few seconds. You can see now I can move the search button around. Maybe I would like to place it as the last option here. I can do that or maybe I wanna drag and have it accessible in my keyboard toolbar. I can do that too. And notice what happened. The settings button came to this options page. That's because the keyboard toolbar can only hold up to eight items. Previously, when we wanted to search for emojis, we went to the emojis option and then tapped on search and then searched for emojis. Similarly, if you want to search something in your AR emojis, you would do the same. But I would actually like to search across every option available to get all of my results in a single tap. And that's what this search button does. I can tap on the search button and search for happy. And now I'm going to get results associated with uh, the emojis. I also get result from Spotify. You can see that I got a playlist as well as an artist. I get results from my stickers that uses AR emoji. I also get GIFs and I also get results from YouTube. And that's very powerful. If you notice at the bottom, I can switch to other apps as well, like Netflix, Contacts, and even my gallery app. So the universal search is very powerful. If you haven't used this universal search button, I would highly recommend you to try it out. While we are here, Let's see what we get with the Spotify and YouTube integration. If I tap on Spotify, you can see that I get all of my recently played songs. And also Spotify gives some categories here at the bottom bar that I can browse. Now, of course, this 
sheet, the Spotify app sheet you're seeing here is very small. If I want to make it bigger, all I have to do is you see this bar at the top, just expand it to the top and now you pretty much have a Spotify app in your keyboard. Now, if I have to get details about the song, all I have to do is just tap on the song and now I got the description and the link to open this in Spotify. Of course, if I want to directly open the song in Spotify and start playing, I can tap this arrow button and then that will start playing the song in Spotify. And that's how the Spotify integration works. Now, if you go back to YouTube, YouTube is the same way. It will allow you to browse all of the videos and gives you the categories and you can then add that video or music directly in the app that you're using. Very useful and I've already used it a lot, especially when sharing the music that I discover or the artists that I discover in Spotify with my friends and family. There's even a quicker way to access those GIFs, stickers, and emojis. And this works in the chat apps. Apps like your Messages app, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or any other chat app that you have installed in your smartphone. There are two ways I can get quick access to the stickers, emojis, and the GIFs. As you type, Samsung Keyboard is going to suggest stickers. And this is really useful, right? I typed happy, now I get some stickers suggested for the word happy and I can just tap on it and then that will send the message to the recipient. Now, if I want to get more results, maybe I want to get the GIFs or the emojis associated with it, I can tap the sticker button and that's going to take me to the options screen where I can now select between the emoji, the stickers, the GIF, and I get access to all of the options available here. Very useful to have these even more shortcuts to access the stickers and emojis to express yourself when you're having a conversation with your friends and family. And finally, there's one more option, the translate option. Translate option allows me to translate text from English to any other language. Let's say I want to share something in my native language to my friends and family. Well, I don't have to open Google, translate the text, or change my keyboard and type in a different language keyboard. I can actually use the translate function available in the Samsung keyboard to do that. So um, let me go into the more options and then tap on translate. It's going to ask to enter the text to translate. I'm going to type happy birthday. And you can see my source language is English and the language I want to convert is Tamil. And all I have to do now is press the translate button at the bottom right. And then that's going to put the translated text. Now this is powered using Google Translate. So it's very accurate and it has never failed me in translating the right text to my native language. Now, there are many other options available here. I'm not going to go through each one of them, but I would highly encourage you to go and try out these. And finally, if you want to access and modify the settings of the different services that you're using here, like Spotify, YouTube, or even to turn off the keyboard toolbar, if you're not going to use it, you can go to the keyboard settings. And then you have the option here to enable disable keyboard toolbar. So you can see the keyboard toolbar is enabled. If I disable it, I will not have the keyboard toolbar. And if you go to the bottom, you see that you have an option for select third party content to use. Tap on that to enable and disable the services that you want to use. Oh, I think I forgot to talk about one more option in the keyboard toolbar, the handwrite option with this, I can use S Pen or I can use my finger to scribble and write text. And whatever I write here in this pad would get converted to text. Let's look at an example. I'm going to say how and then space R space U. So you can see that how my input in my handwriting 
is now very easily converted to text. And you can see that I also started scribbling and it does understand my handwriting very good. I quite enjoy this feature. In fact, for me, this is even faster than swiping text in the keyboard. And if I'm using my S Pen, it's also even quicker. So if you have this option and you wanna use it, try it out and let me know how this recognizes your handwriting as well. Theming your keyboard, you've got few options. If you go to your keyboard settings and then tap on the theme option, you see some basic options available there, which is changing between light and dark themes. It's pretty basic, not very fancy, and doesn't allow you to even change the color of the keyboard. But there are options. If you go to your Samsung Galaxy Store and search for an app called Keys Cafe, this is part of the Good Lock app for your Samsung Galaxy phones. And once you install this, this allows you to take the customization of your Samsung keyboard even further. Keys Cafe app provides a few options. You can see that you can also make your own keyboard. This is useful if you want to create your own keyboard layout or choose a different keyboard layout than the QWERTY style keyboard. But what we're going to see today is about theming your keyboard. So, you got the other option here, tap on the style your own keyboard, and you can see you got several options available here. At the bottom, you can see that you can apply colors, you can also apply effects, and you can also apply different sounds to your keyboard. There are lots of color options to choose from, unlike the simple light and dark option available within the Samsung theme options. So for example here, I'm gonna select this option, and I'm going to apply. And once it's applied, you can press this top right keyboard button to bring up the keyboard and see how it looks. And if you don't like it, that doesn't matter. You can choose many other different colors available here. Now the FX are interesting. FX allows you to put some motion to the keyboard color, key color, and even the key motion how you want to apply. So here, for example, you can see that as I select an option, there is the preview of how it would look in the keyboard. To preview the motions, I can tap on the keyboard button at the top right, and you can see now I can actually preview my effect. And if I want to add sound, I can choose from the available sound options here as well. So the Keys Cafe is a really good app if you want to take the customization to the next level make sure you install the good lock app then the keys cafe app and then that will let you customize your samsung keyboard so that was really cool right lots of options in the samsung keyboard to choose from and a very useful app indeed for your samsung smartphone if you're using your samsung keyboard let me know what feature you like the most and if you want to see more tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.